I want to show you how to use the proximity trigger in Far Cry 1 sandbox editor. I've already made tutorials about the trigger proximity trigger key, but there was the wrong details, so I thought I'd better, I'd better screw the ID and delete the uh, videos and start again. So go to objects, click on entity, open the triggers folder, and drag and drop proximity trigger okay there it is the letter T on it okay the next thing to do is select it scroll down and click on on enter or on leave on leave, on leave means when I enter inside this cube and then leave it's going to activate these mercenaries to do whatever I want them to do. On enter, that means when I enter inside the cube, it's going to activate these uh, mercenaries to do whatever. Okay, so I want to click on on enter, and then click pick new. And then click on the buggy. And you can see that orange line appear it's linking it now and it's also been uh, listed here as well so click on it and right click um, go chase means they're going to uh, they're just going to jump in and start chasing me um, go patrol means that that means they're going to start chasing me and then when they're near me they'll jump out the vehicle okay so I'm just going to uh, click on go chase so that's go chase uh, you can set dimensions on this trigger by um, setting the, uh, the dimensions um, X Y and Z okay it's best to leave this um, if you're going to use this on high ground, if you want to activate this when you're walking on high ground, it's better not to raise it off the ground. You see what I'm saying? For example, if I'm on high ground here, okay, if I want to activate it here on high ground, sometimes it malfunction. So it's best to set some height on it, but make sure it's on the same level as the objects that you're activating, which is on this level. So give it some height, which is the uh, the Z dimension. It's currently set on def uh, default at five, five by five by five, which is a 3D object. Okay, so I'm just going to type in, uh, give it some height of 15. I'm going to type in 15. Press enter on the keyboard, and there we've got some height. Okay. Because sometimes the, uh, I've noticed the, the malfunction, they just seem to go grey. So I'm going to have it to activate here, where that tree is, I'm just going to mark it with that tree. So when I enter this cube, it's going to activate them three mercenaries to to start chasing me okay you can test it this way if you want to just click on the um, make sure proximity triggers uh, selected and then scroll down click on uh, click on the vehicle and then click on AI physics you'll see it turn yellow and then click on send to test it see they've all got in that's good and then uh, click on it again to deactivate it make sure it's uh, not colored in yellow that's one way or else you can go to gameplay and test it I'll go into gameplay you can see where I marked it with that tree. 
Okay, I'll press uh, Control G now to go into test mode. Control G. Here we go. Right, they're not doing nothing. So when they enter that area, which is here, and then when they see me, they will start chasing me. There we go. Yeah. Okay, that's the uh, that's the proper way of doing it. Um, if you want to delete your maps, just go to uh, just go to my computer, local disk, program files, Ubisoft, uh, Crytek folder, and just uh, go to levels folder, and you can delete your maps there to get some memory back. Okay. Uh, the next. The next uh, tutorial is I'll show you how to use the tags. Okay, thanks for watching.